today we will discuss the diode approximations in this session we will discuss the following content we will briefly introduce uh, by what is diode approximations why we need it and then we will discuss the different types of diode approximations uh, we will also call it as a equivalent circuit model of the diode so we have the three types of uh, approximations one is ideal equivalent circuit uh, second is simplified equivalent circuit and third is your piecewise linear equivalent circuit so we will see why we need these models and what are the uh, how these models uh, are represented so let's discuss the uh, brief introduction about the diode approximations why we need them uh, what are they and what are the different types of diode approximation we will discuss in this slides so why we why we need the approximation you know the, because the diode has the non linear vi relationship uh, because uh, when we use the diode in the linear circuits Uh, across the linear elements, it is easy to find the voltage and current. They will follow the Ohm's law, right? But when we, we need to find the voltage and current across the diode, uh, due to its non-linear relationship, it is not easier to find the uh, current and voltage. So we need to approximate the behavior uh, of the diode with its some linear equivalent circuit. So diode is uh, what is diode approximation? Diode approximation is the mathematical approach to uh, approximate the non-linear behavior of the practical diode. to makes us our calculation easier and, uh, and makes the analysis of the circuit easier right we can easily find the voltage and current uh, across the diode uh, when we use the diode approximation model soon we will see right so uh, we our target is uh, to find the basically the electrical equivalent model which will depict the same behavior of the diode uh, in terms of the voltage and the resistance right so we have the three different types of the diode approximations first is your ideal equivalent circuit and second is your simplified equivalent circuit third is your piecewise linear equivalent circuit right so um, before starting these uh, equivalent circuit two important concepts are there that uh, an open circuit means uh, that 100% the current is always going to be zero but it doesn't mean that the voltage is also zero means in open circuit the current is surely zero but voltage need not to be zero similarly in case of the short circuit what is sure that that the voltage is zero but the current need not to be zero and these two important concepts are needed for analysis of the di diode circuits right so remember these two concepts so let's start with the first diode approximation that is ideal equivalent circuits so let's discuss the first diode approximation that is ideal equivalent circuit approximation in this approximation both the cut in voltage as well as the internal forward resistance of the diode are ignored right so we will not consider the cut in voltage uh, we will take it as a zero volt so when the voltage across the diode is less than 0 volt the diode is said to be operating in the reverse bias condition there will be no flow of the current and it will be operating in the off state so we will model th this behavior by the open circuit means in the in this state the ideal diode will behave as a perfect insulator but when the voltage across the diode is positive or the voltage is it will be operating in the forward bias condition so it will be perfectly replaced by the uh, you know short circuit and it will behave as a perfect conductor so let us understand the ideal vi characteristics so ideal vi characteristics tell me that this this red line shows me that uh, when the voltage across the diode is uh, negative or less than zero it, it will behave as a open circuit means the current is always zero but the voltage need not need to be zero but when the voltage across the diode is positive or greater than zero means it will behave as a perfect uh, uh, conductor that is uh, it will be replaced by the short circuit so in the short circuit you can see that the voltage is surely zero but the current is not need to be zero but there is a one point uh, denoted here as a transition point at which uh, the voltage is zero and the current is zero which is the hypothetical point because at the same time both situation cannot occur at the same time no one no circuit can be short circuit and open circuit at a time so this transition state concept will be used when we uh, study the clipper concept so this is uh, about the ideal approximation let's solve the one numerical based on the ideal approximation so this is the uh, value calculate you have to calculate the value of the ir for the given circuit this is the diode in series with the resistance of 2k and uh, 10 volt input battery is there so uh, you know when the approximation is there you can easily find the current and voltage across this resistance right but you cannot easily find the voltage and current here because it is a, as a non linear behavior so you need to replace it uh, by its approximation model so in since uh, there is nothing written over here that uh, it is ideal in nature right so we will treat it as ideal 
Uh, so we will see by the polarity of the voltage, right? Uh, this diode is in the forward bias direction. So it is replaced by the short circuit. And this is the electrical equivalent model of this circuit, right? We have replaced the diode uh, by the short circuit. And now we I apply the KVL. So uh, it's a KVL is simple that 10 minus IR into VR is equal to zero. So after solving the value of this uh, uh, KVL equation, that is 10 minus IR into 2K resistance. So you will get the current value as uh, 5 milliampere, right? So let's discuss the second diode approximation that is a simplified equivalent circuit approximation model, right? In this model, we will consider the cutting voltage, but we will again not consider the uh, internal forward resistance of the diode. The cutting voltage is denoted here by the B gamma, that is 0.3 volt uh, equals for the germanium and 0.7 volt for the silicon. So when the voltage across the diode is less than the cutting voltage, the diode is said to be operating in the uh, reverse bias condition. So the current will be across the diode is zero. Uh, it will be operating the offsets will be replaced by the open circuit. But when the voltage across the uh, diode uh, will be equals to uh, the cutting voltage or greater than uh, the cutting voltage, the diode is set to be operating in the forward bias condition. So we will say the diode is in the on state and we will replace it by the battery of magnitude equals to the cutting voltage. So mind the polarity that P side we have the positive, we N side is the negative and this polarity uh, shows that uh, you know the barrier potential uh, uh, in PN junction diode opposes the flow of the majority carrier. Similarly here the battery, uh, the polarity of the battery is uh, said that uh, it will oppose the uh, input current, right. So um, this is the simplified diode VI characteristics we have uh, that uh, for the voltage less than the cutting voltage the current uh, is always zero and the diode will be replaced by the open circuit but the voltage need not to be equal to zero for voltage cutting uh, more than the cutting voltage it will maintain a constant voltage across it uh, that is it is replaced by the constant voltage magnitude equals to cutting voltage so uh, in this uh, we have uh, uh, the on state model we have that current is need not to be zero and this point is called as the transition point in which uh, the VD is equals to this uh, cutting voltage and ID is equals to zero. So please compare these, these two models here. What is the difference in the on state model and the transition state model? In the on state model, uh, we have the V gamma as well as the current is need not to be equals to zero. But here the current is, is zero. That is only the one of the difference uh, between these two model representation. So this uh, transition point representation is useful uh, concept when we understand the concept of the clipper, right? So let's solve the same numerical as uh, discussed in the previous uh, ideal case and let's find the value of the uh, current IR. Now the diode is replaced by the you know uh, silicon diode. Previously it was the ideal diode. So when we replace it by the silicon diode, let's see what is the effect on the current IR. So um, as you can see that the, uh, by seeing the polarity of the input voltage, this diode is in the forward bias condition that is in on state. So we replace it by the uh, battery equals to the magnitude equals to the cutting voltage of the silicon that is uh, 0.7 volt. So it, the, you can see that it is opposing the flow of the input current uh, depicting the behavior of the barrier potential. So easily now you can see that uh, when we approximate the behavior with the, uh, with the battery, right? So it is a, uh, uh, giving me the uh, simplified uh, approximation right now I can easily calculate the voltage and current across this element right. So uh, easily applying the cable in this loop we can find the value of IR as 10 minus V gamma minus IR into R is equals to 0 right. So V gamma is equals to 0.7 and R is equals to 2 kilo ohm. So IR can be calculated at 4.65 milliampere. Now if you will compare the uh, value with the previous case uh, it was 5 milliampere. So you will get uh, certainly a exact current. You will, uh, you know, you are going towards the, uh, you are some accurate values, right? So let us discuss the effect of the uh, third approximation that is uh, piecewise linear uh, equivalent circuit approximation. This is the one of the most accurate mo model uh, in comparison to the previous ideal and simplified models. In this, because in this model we will consider both the effect of the cutting voltage as well as the internal forward resistance of the diode is considered. Internal forward resistance of the diode is denoted here by the small rf. So when the voltage across the diode is less than the cutting voltage, the diode is said to be in the operating uh, in the reverse bias condition. It is in off state and it is replaced by the open circuit. When the voltage across the diode is greater than uh, the uh, the cutting voltage, uh, the, it will be operating in the forward bias condition and uh, in the on state. 
so it is replaced by the battery in series with the forward resistance this is important this forward resistance is additional here in the piecewise linear equivalent circuit approximation so uh, let's see the effect of this uh, uh, the internal forward resistance rf on the vi characteristics so for the vd less than the cut in voltage we have the current equals to zero across the diode and voltage need not to be equal to zero but once the voltage across the diode is greater than the cut in voltage uh, the current will uh, rise but with the slope this the slope of this line will uh, give me is inversely proportional to the internal forward resistance of the uh, that is equals to uh, rf right one upon rf so uh, in the on state we have the uh, this uh, model we have uh, this is the transition state in which the vd is equals to v gamma that is a uh, voltage across the diode equals to the cut in voltage but the current is zero right here the current is not equals to zero let's solve the same numerical as in the previous case uh, by considering this piecewise linear equivalent circuit approximation so you have to calculate the value of uh, ir for the same circuit is given now the uh, silicon diode is given with its internal resistance rf is equals to 20 ohm so now you are uh, seeing that this diode is operating in the forward bias direction so you are going to replace it by the uh, battery in series with the forward resistance that is 20 ohm so uh, now you can see it is very easy to apply the kvl and kcl and you can find the voltage and current in the circuit So this is the beauty of the uh, diode approximations, right? So just apply the KVL in the clockwise direction. So you will get these equations as 10 minus V gamma minus IF into RF minus VR into R, right? So substitute the values uh, that is uh, RF is replaced by the internal resistance that is 20 ohm. So you will get uh, expression that IR is equals to 10 volt minus 0.7 volt upon 2 kilo ohm plus 20 ohm. So you will, uh, when you saw, uh, calculate the value of the IR, you will get the, uh, the value as 4.604 milliampere, right? So when you compare this uh, value with the uh, previous case that in the simplified model, you will get the 4.65 milliampere in that case. So there is no much, uh, no much change in the values. Means uh, the third approximation and the second approximation, there is no certain uh, so much change is there. But certainly there is a lot of change in the first, that is ideal model and the simplified model. so mostly time we prefer the simplified model and uh, ideal models in rarely case we will use this model right so this is so let's summarize the all the diode approximation models this is the first approximation model that is ideal equivalent approximation model in the off state when the voltage is less than 0 volt it is replaced by the open circuit while for the voltage positive we have the uh, replaced by the short circuit it will behave as a perfect conductor in the on state as a perfect insulator in the off state this is the ideal equivalent approximation now in the simplified approximation model we have considered the effect of the cut in voltage so for the off state model it is same as uh, we have replaced by the open circuit but once the voltage is greater than the cut in voltage we are going to replace it by the battery with uh, this magnitude equals to uh, v gamma right that is v gamma the node c cut in voltage then this is the third approximation in which the, again the off state model is same for vd less than equals to v gamma in this approximation we have considered the effect of the cut in voltage as well as the internal forward resistance of the diode that is small rf so when in the, it is in diode uh, in the on state for the voltage across it uh, greater than the cut in voltage the diode is replaced by the battery of magnitude equals to the cut in voltage in series with the internal forward resistance so this is all about the diode approximations now you can easily uh, apply these concepts to solve the numericals on the diode circuits right so thank you very much uh, hope you have enjoyed my session and learned something thank you